mother transmits the disease to all her children type of inheritance is autosomal x linked recessive x linked dominant and mitochondrial so we have already discussed that the autosomal thing can be recessive or it can be dominant now if it is a recessive trait autosomal recessive trait then the parents might look normal but the offspring seems to be disease okay then we have the dominant thing the autosomal dominant in that case actually what happens the parents seems to be disease both the parents are disease but one of the offspring is normal now in that case that is going to be the autosomal dominant now we'll come to the x link recessive so x link recessive and x link dominant these are the two rules actually for x link dominant the father transmit disease to almost all the daughters or all or most of the daughters same way in the x link recessive disease the mother transmit disease to most of the sons now in this case here the mother is going to transmit the disease to all her children so one thing which we have to understand is that the mitochondrial dna the mitochondria is basically a maternal genetic material so the mitochondria is basically transferred from the mother it is transferred from the mother so if the mitochondria of the mother itself is defective right so that will be transferred to all the offspring whether it is female or it is male right it is going to transfer to all the offspring so that is the scenario here as well that the mother is transmitting the disease to all her children so the type of inheritance is going to be the mitochondrial because other have different scenarios which we have already discussed so answer to this particular question is going to be a fourth one mitochondrial inheritance will be transmitting the mitochondrial genetic material or the mitochondria from the mother itself so that's why whether the offspring are male or these are female both are going to be affected in case of mitochondrial inheritance so i'll just quickly uh, walk through the mitochondrial inheritance actually it occurs through the mitochondrial dna transfer or we call it as the mitochondrial genetic material now the characteristic feature of this particular thing is that the female transmits the disease to all the progeny now all the progeny that means whether the offsprings are the males or these are the females these both are going to be affected because the mitochondrial dna is always derived from mother right so if we go back to the question here we'll find that the answer to this question is going to be fourth that is mitochondrial inheritance